Hello guys, I hope you're well, it's Pug Gaming here and I want to bring you a little tutorial video on how to build a custom grandstand. Now we are blessed with a lot of beautiful stadiums on the workshop, but when I say stadiums I mean more of a football stadium where it's completely enclosed. And what I'm looking to design here is more of a single sort of seating area, so something you'd see more likely at a horse racing event or something where the particular area of interest is very central and sort of more minimized. So the first challenge of this custom build was to find something that looked like a stadium. And the grandstand itself, I wanted to have a seating area on the front, but also I wanted to have it to look like it has a sort of entrance point where there might be shops, etc. inside. And as you can see, I decided to use Revo's wave or well, his ultra hub module builds and combine a few bits together here um, it does it does take a bit of time it does look a bit messy to start with um, but in the end we do get there and it does does work extremely well so the first point was to put a few bits down I wanted to make something a bit more well realistic in terms of the roof so I used the other parts of his module builds and basically we're just putting them all together here and sort of trying to replicate something that looks more like a stadium and you'll note that because of this build by Revo it includes a underground section it does push down the actual lands that we're working on here and I wanted to put these wave roofs on top as well to really make things stand out I wanted to make this grandstand be the focal point of whichever area it's going into so I had to move things around and cover up a few bits which you'll see a bit later on it doesn't look that pretty right now, but you'll see how I work with this a bit later on. So once the core was created, it was time to detail. And the first step was finding the best seating for this particular grandstand. And I decided to use the Modular Sports Home Bleachers um, stand by Cristalisto of the workshop and these work extremely well the seating looks beautiful already we have some of these lights as well the floodlights which we can move around and actually the way it all comes together works out really nicely in the end I do change things about from what we see at the moment to make it look a little bit more realistic but it does does work well and it's a great color as well it matches the color of the actual building having a white um, well whitey gray staircase so having these certainly worked well. Next up I wanted to create something that I've not seen done before or really implemented before so I wanted to create a custom build for a custom box and what I mean by custom box is if you look at uh, modern day stadiums or grandstands they do tend to have a sort of indoor sort of seated area which you can look out of from sort of above the actual stadium seats. So these obviously are more higher price tickets and they do tend to have sort of you know an internal bar inside and somewhere a little bit more comfy almost like sitting in your living room but looking out the window at the event itself rather than the TV. So a combination of Beard Monkey's assets here and some of the glass panels we used to combine all of this together and it did take a little bit of time to get all this down correctly because the difficult thing is is even when you found the parts you want you then had to still raise it up and you'll see a bit later on that was uh, quite a difficult task to get these all to line up nicely in the end um, and sort of working out the distances between one another um, this is purely done um, trial and error pretty much but the introduction of these types of um, props now in the workshop and the fact you can move things up and down with the move it tool it does really open up the uh, ability to allow custom builds. There's been so many um, out recently, well, videos released with custom builds. It's really taken off well, and it was something that I got into right at the start. I really did enjoy the fact you could customize in-game as well and sort of create things and make things look a lot more realistic. So to see that now being, well, a more common, um, a common thing done when playing the game shows how far this has come in terms of the actual ability of not only the game's dynamics but the fact that these creators um, and modders know what the fans want and what we want to see next to really excel this uh, this platform. 
So as you can see, the custom box is slowly taking shape and I end up using a lot of the props from the Park in Prop Pack by Ami Polizzi Funk. I think that's how you say it, but there's some brilliant ones on here. If you want to create your own custom builds, this is definitely a prop pack for you to download. There's some awnings on there, there's glass frames, there's signs, there's logos, there's sort of base, I think there's a base jump support actually, but this is what I'm using um, on top of my building here. But definitely check it out on the workshop, a great additional pack for you to customize and choose what you want really. And to finish the build off, a couple of sofas and a table certainly do work nicely. And now that was the easy part. I say easy part. The next part is now the actual placement of the whole, well, box itself. And that was the thing that took a little bit of time, but you'll see now with this time lapse that we do get there eventually. So as you can see here, the boxes suit the building perfectly. I do love how this looks and it just gives a different sort of dynamic to this uh, grandstand build. I know it's not exactly how a grandstand would look, but I like the design of this and it certainly suits the projects that I'm gonna be building off of this, which you, um, you've probably already seen the cinematics for and that's the uh, horse racing track. So it's got that sort of posh feel about it. The lighting looks good. Um, and yeah, I'm very happy with how that's come about. So with the main grandstand section complete, it was just a case now of tidying up the front side. And because we have raised up different areas and brought the land levels up because of the, uh, the buildings that we're using, these module buildings, there was a little bit of uh, messing around needed to get things looking a little bit more a little bit more realistic. So I'll leave you with these last few moments of me tidying up and adding a few bits of detail in terms of front entrance, etc. And I'll also give you a little teaser of how I actually implemented this grandstand into my horse racing um, project build. And with that said, guys, I will leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions about this particular build or anything else in general, please let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Until next time, guys, have a good weekend, and I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and all the best.